Hi guys, welcome to my channel SAP Lovey. Hope you are doing well. So today we will uh, discuss on the engineering change request. This is the part of uh, engineering change management. So if uh, you have any uh, kind of uh, feedback or uh, query or after this topic at the end of this topic please let know and uh, you can also suggest if you have any other new topic I need to cover in this video I mean uh, I need to create new video then uh, please let know so that uh, I will try to take that uh, topic also okay and please do not forget to subscribe and uh, like this uh, like this video so let's continue engineering change request is the uh, part of uh, engineering change management okay so now what is what exactly doing engineering change request control the process change process of the object like object means like your bomb material so as per change time what you are doing want to change the change so that process being controlled by the engine change request so, so like suppose you are trying to say, uh, do some changes in the uh, your material master but that should be validated by the your internal team and authorized team so that like before you do the changes so that your whole business should aware of that this is the changes we are going you are going to change and what is the purpose of that changes why you want to do the that change and so that who is authorized people they can uh, they can check what is the impact of these changes okay so so, so that everyone in business will be well aware of that this will be changed and that will be impact so that internal team can validate and who is authorized people they can approve this one okay so in this way this engine change request help to control the change process before you do any kind of engineering change okay and this change function generally create a mind with status network so it will have some kind of status change request will have the status there will that will be control your uh, change function okay now the flow so if you look at like suppose you got the input for any product you got the input uh, to, uh, like from customer from customer you got uh, yes uh, some other resources your sales and <coughs> distribution team got input do the some changes then they will create one change engineering change request that engine change request once created that once created your co corresponding team will be add uh, or they will decide which object need to be changed like material or bomb or whatever what object need to be changed that object they will be they will add in the uh, engine change request once it will be add in the engine change request that will go to the corresponding uh, business people they will evaluate whether this change is possible or not so they will check it whether it is possible or not okay then once it is validated then the authorized people will approve they will check and they will approve once this engineering change request is approved then it will convert to the engineering change order okay so once this is this engineering change is converted then you will do the changes in the object so once you do the changes in the object then it will be like uh, uh, it will convert to the uh, engineering change order so this is your uh, 
so this is your flow of flow of engineering change request, engineering change request process flow okay so then how we will create that engine change engine change request we can create in the same transaction where we are creating change manager in the ECC the transaction is CC01 there will uh, you can create the engineering change request so there will be like two radio button engineering change for requ there will be one radio button for engineering change request when you choose that then you will create the engineering change request and it will convert to the automatic to engineering change order after approval okay then the, uh, the steps what are the steps to convert to the engineering change order uh, request to in engineering change order i mean that is in taking that is the so this flow is business flow okay this is the business flow okay and here technically like uh, there are some steps are there like first so i will show you in the uh, uh, sap this one okay so let's go to the sap So CC01 is the transaction. Okay. In CC01, if you look at there is two bread button, change master and ECR. You can choose the ECR. So here you can either you can say without release key or with release key. That depends on you. So you can decide which one you, you will you want to use. Okay and here change type so change type generally have the information for what purpose you are going to change this okay so this is the part of uh, config you can create the new change type also okay but i will not uh, cover this uh, how to do config i will not cover this in this video so in next video i will give details of uh, configuration for change type okay so there suppose if you look at I will choose this one customer complaint okay so here I'll, I took the without release key and change type is 003 okay then so if you look at it is coming as engineering change request without release key okay now if I put description and here I will put suppose today's date ok today's test and this is change type it copied from there and start status is here active ok now I will save it ok then So, sorry object type so here it is I will choose this one management record okay so this one also we can control the profile but I did not uh, use the profile uh, profile so that is the reason uh, I need to uh, add here so in my past videos I explained uh, how to create the profile so I will give the link uh, in the description you can go through those videos okay so after that here suppose I want to add the object okay and I will add one object here suppose I will add this one And here also we have to give the change type means why you want to so this change type of generally some information the purpose of changes so that will be help the approver to know why we are going to do these changes 
ओके सो सपोज आई विल से वन थिंग ओके एंड देन आई विल कम इन आई विल सेव इट आफ्टर दैट आफ्टर दैट वंस आई अपडेटेड द ऑब्जेक्ट सपोज with this condition with this condition if i want to change in that uh, uh, object suppose if i go to cs02 and i'll use suppose this is the object i added there okay so if i want to change with this change number then it say it is saying system status ecr is not yet approved because without converting ecr to eco you can't use that for changes okay so here again i have need to go to the cc02 and this this one so here suppose i this is the box you will get it okay so here it is check ecr so first we need to check the ecr okay now i will continue so once check ecr means now you have to go to the object next step once they will say it check ecr then you have to go to object here select this object and add it it look object status then here it will come Say if this change possible, change unnecessary, change. So who is the authorized people? Because here it will be when you activate the workflow, it will go to the authorized people. It notify. So this change number is with you, and there you can uh, some other people can check wh which object they want to change. So there you can say suppose change. So whatever you are com your comment, you can add it. Impossible, unnecessary, or, or impossible. All this you can add here. So now, suppose I say change possible, okay, and I will save it, okay. So once I say, see all objects checked, okay, it's coming. So now if I go here, is here is checked. means that request uh, object is checked okay now if i say it is checked now it will pending with to approve this engineer change request okay so i'll save it so now if uh, so till now if you look at till now it is engineer change request now it saying the in approve so once someone uh, uh, the other people come here and he, they will approve then will approve the ecr because it is checked now it is uh, need to approve okay so so now if you look at this so so it is approved once it approved it is updating status if you look at is here approved okay this status is updating here so now we have to convert the is here we have to convert is here to eco okay so now we'll continue okay and save it so now if you look at it is convert to the engineering changer so If, when it is pending with uh, convert to ecr that time also it was saying but in by status wise it was not it was not converted okay in uh, with status if you look at the status it is saying eco now is to be processed ecr is approved okay now is to be processed is to be processed means this engine changer, changer can be used for the object now okay so now if i copy this one and i will go to that object this one okay see now i can change this with 
you that this change number okay so suppose i will change to 3 so if you look at this change number come okay now i will save it okay so after that now i did the changes so now i will go back to that engine change request so here so if you look at in uh, once i processed used that uh, uh, this engine ch change number to the object now it is coming order complete or incomplete so before that before that here you have to update that change is complete so you have to go edit object status and here you have to the complete change okay and save it so once you will go did this one if you look at close issue it's coming okay so means in your change order at whatever change that is already completed so you can close the engine change order okay now we'll save it so if you look at ecr approved then initially it was coming ECO to, to be processed now it is processed and change is complete so it is coming issue is confirmed okay now we did the issue complete completed okay now i'll save it once i say after that so now we need to last one is release issue so to release this uh, engineering change order okay first we need to release the cha changes of object here we have to uh, uh, select and here we have to release change so need to re-login again okay cc02 here now so now everything change is done everything done now we have to release that engine change order before that here we have to release the changes of the object so here we have to select the object edit and object status release change okay save so if you go now so before that I will show you all objects released ok it is coming all objects released once it is saying it all objects released ok here, here also if you look at all objects is released ok so then you will can release this in your change order ok release is you so he is saying change order has been released so now it is released okay. so now this is done this is the all from since creation of engine change request to convert to engine change order and use and release everything is completed ok so this is the whole process of engineering change request of converting to engineering order and to use for uh, object okay so hope you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel so if you have any uh, feedback or comment please let me know i will try to address that